I have something super awesome to show off today. It is the Monarch Deluxe Edition for the Nintendo Switch, or weirdly as the sticker says, for hybrid devices. I pre-ordered this from NIS America quite some time ago, and honestly, I can't even remember exactly what's in it, so I'm excited to see what's inside. Let's check it out. So, looking at the box, we have some really nice cover art. I actually really enjoy that. It has a kind of a cool texturized uh, pattern on the front there. And um, yeah, it's just some really classic Monarch visuals there. It looks fantastic. If we can zoom in there. And it shows, you know, the main characters on all the sides. And the back as well also has another fantastic design. I really like it so far. Plastic's really nice, or the cardboard is really nice and thick on this one. And uh, it's pretty similar to other collector's editions that I've got from NIS America. Unfortunately, I guess if you open it up a little too much, you do get these little tears on the inside there. So I kind of messed that up immediately, but it is what it is. So let's look at the book first. So the first thing we have is a hardbound copy of the artwork of Monarch. Comes in this nice black color, plain black background. Looks like it's in really good condition. The corners don't really seem to have any sort of bends on it. And it's a pretty good thickness, I think, if we'll open it up here. Artwork of Monarch. The following pages can contain spoiler material. So if you guys haven't been watching any of my content or you haven't been playing it yourselves, this will have some spoilers to it. But it looks like we have a nice breakdown that's pretty similar to the kind of stuff that we saw during um, my other videos that I've made. So the characters and then their packed bearer form. Get a little bit later into it, we can see some of the enemies, the monarchs, which is pretty great. And that actually is like super spoiler territory. So I will not go much farther in that, but this is really cool. I'm going to enjoy having this. I always like art books and it's really nice to get one that's in a good hardcover. A lot of these actually don't come in hardcovers, so I'm very appreciative of that. Next up, it looks like we have a CD here. So it comes in this nice little plastic sheet to keep everything kind of the same size inside the packaging and inside it looks like we have the soundtrack itself with a little cardboard barrier inside that keeps it in there nice and safe so I'll just showcase this off the Vanny limited soundtrack so this one has 23 tracks, but it lists tracks 14 through 23 as the short versions of the tracks. So it's not really a full soundtrack, but it does have plenty of music and I'm actually going to be interested in seeing what kind of tracks that they have. I will play or will place the track listing on the screen so you guys can have a good look at that and you can pause it if you'd like to really look at it some more. Um, you will see that the ones that are in red, it looks like, seem to be the ones that were created by the VTubers. Um, yep, and this is listed as uh, not for sale. So it just looks like it's only for the collector's edition. So before we get into the stuff that I really wanna see, we'll look at the game and I'm gonna compare it because I have the Japanese copy next to me. So. Again, it comes in another little container here that holds everything in, keeps everything the same width and height inside of the box, which I always appreciate not having stuff slopping and jumping around. So this one's interesting because it actually labels it as being the deluxe edition on the case for the Switch game, which I have not seen before. Um, usually it just looks like the regular version of the game that's stuck in there, but this one actually has a case that states it is the deluxe edition that does not follow through on the side it just looks like um, your regular switch games that you get there's the back there previously i have ordered the japanese copy so i have the japanese copy here to compare next to it there is both of those and they're actually extremely similar <laughs> i do you know that japanese font on the front i i just really like how the image design looks a little bit better 
the characters are kind of shifted up and look a little bigger too so i actually enjoy the japanese version and then the backs of them are actually radically different so this one here with all the white on it this is the american version for the digital deluxe and the one that has primaries of black on the back is the japanese version i guess that's pretty obvious with all the japanese text as well but just showing off the differences in the Japanese version versus the deluxe edition for the Switch. We have two more things inside, it looks like. Ooh, ooh, this first one, I actually, ooh, I'm excited for this. I love these. I don't know why I uh, really just have a big fascination with these, but it looks like we have a cloth poster inside. Putting this up, we can see it has a really nice sheen on it. Reminds me pretty similar to the Danganronpa one that we recently did the unboxing for. And here we go here. That is a brutal, brutal piece of artwork. I really thoroughly enjoy that. Um, it's pretty dark and kind of hard to see a ton of details, but I think that's fantastic. I want to get a frame for this one as well as the Danganronpa one. Maybe I'll back up a little bit here too. If we can show the full design off a little bit better. If you guys remember, I had a lot of high remarks on the Danganronpa Decadence cloth poster. It was one of the best ones I have. I still think that it is the best one I have. Um, this one seems to be a little bit thicker, a little less soft. And I'll kind of try to see if we can get a close up on this, but. It is nice and clear, so I will give it that. Hopefully that comes through on the webcam. We'll try to show off some of those details. In comparison, I have the Danganronpa cloth one still out. I haven't got a frame for it just yet. The design is overall a little bit brighter, but then again, we're looking at a red and black picture versus a silver and colorful picture, so. I do like it quite a lot. The image is fantastic, so I will give it high remark <laughs> high regards for that. Finally is the thing that I wanted the most, which I know sounds probably extremely silly to many people, but the last thing that it comes with is acrylic characters. And I'm actually really looking mostly forward to these because I think they're just gonna look really awesome on a shelf along with my collections that I have. I really, really like the game's design. You can say what you want about everything else that you feel about the game, but I do really like the characters. So yes, these do have a plastic film. Which is very difficult to take off, but it really kept the image in very pristine quality, and I actually really, really like the print quality. There is one on both the front and the back, so let me take off the back as well. All right, so here is what the completed piece looks like. I don't know if you can tell the image quality perfectly through the camera, but in my opinion, it is very, very awesome. This is a quality that I would love to have and was desperately hoping for. And it looks like we have made it and got that really high quality. So I'm gonna try to get one of the stands out as well and then I'll just show off the rest of the characters without unpacking all of them on stream. You know what, I think it's actually really cool. Even the tiny little stands, each of them say Monarch on them, and they also, like the bigger parts of them, are covered in plastic to protect them. So I think that's like a super awesome detail that they've kept. They did not skimp on these, it does not appear to be. All right, and here is the base for it without any of the plastic wrapping on it. Also another really high quality print in my opinion. 
the lines look very very solid and clear so just for show we will connect the base in and it's a very very tight fit everything fits really flush I'm actually really enjoying that and you end up with your completed stand and you are done That is going to look absolutely beautiful on my shelf. I'm actually incredibly excited for this. So along with that character, I'm gonna show all the other characters off as we finish this off here. Now keep in mind the rest of these do have their protective coating still on them. In the Discord when I'm all done, I'll probably take a nice high quality picture of all of them on the shelf, unpackaged to show them all off. So this one looks like a little bit of a little bit of bubbling there, but it doesn't look like it's penetrated through any of the plastic. So the protective plastic did its job there, kept it safe. She's a little bit smaller than I thought, actually. So this one, I'm going to compare. I'm going to compare her. Kokoro, that's the route we're taking for our first route, as you guys have seen in the live streams, next to the main character here. Pretty big size difference, but that actually might help with um, placement for everything. And then you get the base stands for all of them, so there's the chunk of base stands. You know what, this Switch game actually feels a little heavy, so I'm actually gonna open this up too. I'm interested to see if there's more in here. Yep, looks like there is. We actually have a whole nother thing that's inside of here, so I'm very, very glad that I opened this up. It says the Monarch Confessional. And I will show that off there. I don't know what that is. On the back of it, it has a track list. Ah, yes, okay. So I'm glad that I looked at this first. So it comes with this cool little card here. That's why there's a track listing. And underneath here is where you find the digital code for the digital soundtrack. So this does in fact come with the digital soundtrack. It looks like it comes with 10 tracks on there. And those actually appear to be the full versions of the ones that I said were removed from the main one so that's actually really cool it's got those vtuber songs on there if you guys aren't familiar with the soundtrack uh, that's actually the best part of the soundtrack i think is what everyone is kind of universally agreeing on right now oh that's actually cool too so inside is a booklet that actually covers you know characters uh, the song list and the lyrics and translated lyrics as well as a small interview so that's actually really cool. I'll be interested in looking at the interview. If I do see anything inside there that seems interesting or worthwhile showing, I will likely either make a YouTube short or share that on the Discord. So if you guys aren't part of the Discord, feel free to join it. It's a really great place with a lot of really cool people. A lot of people like SMT, JRPGs, Pokemon, and a lot of anime lovers as well. So that's it. That is the complete package for Monarch Deluxe Edition from, NIS, from NIS America. I wanna thank everyone for checking this video out. We do appreciate it. If you guys wanna see more anime news, reviews, and gaming coverage, check out Yokoso Otaku. Hit subscribe. And if you enjoy the content, remember to hit a thumbs up. It helps us out a ton. We'd love to hear your thoughts, so leave them down below in the comments. That is also another highly beneficial thing for us, and also we just appreciate hearing back from everyone. Hope you guys have a good one. Catch you on the next one.